Good morning. Um, hi, I am here down in Tucson. It is two Wednesday today. Um, down here for a really short, like week long, five day, four day, really training camp. Um, I call it a training camp, but really it's just a really like four days just training. So I guess, yeah, it is training camp. Um, down here by myself, well, uh, Caitlin Alexander, who is another rookie pro, similar, we turned pro basically right at the same time, right after Kona. Um, she's down here too, and we're just kind of getting some training in, getting out of the winter that we both seem to live in, and um, yeah, t starting off the, the year. I'm um, down here without the kids, which is <laughs> rough for me. Good but hard. I, I don't I don't leave my kids for extended periods of time very often. In fact, like so Skylar is like three and a quarter and I think I've left them for this long once maybe. Um, maybe twice. Yeah. I don't know. But those were for written they were for races. So this is very different. I've never left them to go on a training camp for this long. So yeah, we'll see how, how it is. Um, yesterday we kind of, we did a swim, we did a, and then two bike rides, and I did a short, easy run. So today is a big day. I have a 3K swim, a two hour ride, and a 22 mile run. So getting started here with some breakfast, and yeah, we'll bring you along. So I'm here, it is 1.40. Um, this is really dark, you probably can't even see me. I don't know if I can adjust this, let's see. Maybe that's better. <laughs> hey! All right, it's about 1.40, it's really late. <laughs> Hi, I'm getting ready to do my long run here. I've got a range of 20 to 24 miles, so it just kind of depends on how I'm feeling. I swam 3K this morning and rode for two hours. Got done at like, I don't know, I got home, at, back to my Airbnb at like 
So I've only had an hour in between, which really proves difficult for fueling because with running, I have, I cannot eat like, like I, can, I wouldn't be able to eat like chicken and rice. I, I can't eat oatmeal. Like I can only eat, <laughs> like I had a banana with peanut butter and some water and a core power <laughs> because I cannot eat much before like really hard heavy runs. So a mm, little nervous on how this will go because of that, but got my fuel, I've got my infinite put in here and my water and we're gonna go for it. See what we got. It's been a big day. I'm tired. I mean I already put in three hours of training and I have two and a half to three hours more. Yeah. It's kind of been a day. It's kind of been a day for a lot of reasons that I won't go into. Here we go. done uh i don't want to sound like ho-hum but that was hard big supper fest for me um i went into it really mentally and kind of emotionally drained today and that just takes a toll on you um I probably should have done the run first, but I was no that big, huge runs like what I had programmed today take a big toll on me. And I was afraid that if I did it first, I would just completely run out of energy and not be able to do either my swim or my bike. And I really wanted to execute today. I wanted to get everything done. I wanted to do it well, so. I don't know, I, I got through it, I got through 19 miles, um, a little bit short of what I was shooting for. Um, I had to take some walk breaks and some like collect me yourself breaks. I also forgot sunscreen, which was stupid. I can't see it, but I am really burnt. Yeah. Anyways, you know, it's, we have these days um, and when you train a lot, you actually, I think you have them a lot. You, we just, the difference is that you move on from them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move on from it. I'm going to keep my chips that I got from my Airbnb because I bonked hard out there. I'm really, like, I just want to close my eyes, but I got to drive back to my Airbnb. So, yeah. All right. Thanks for following along today, guys. <laughs> Hope this was good. <laughs> Sun climbing the Dura Canyon. Uh, about 50 miles in. We've got the hard part coming up here. It is a beautiful day. Alright. 
made it to the top of Madura Canyon. Uh, not gonna lie, I actually questioned if I was gonna make it at one point. It got really, really steep and really hard. So, but I made it. It's so cool up here. It's like a completely different ecosystem than the desert. It's really cool. Tucson. I head out tonight to head back home to see my kids. <gasps> I cannot wait. Um, this has been a really good week, but I have really struggled being away from home for some reason this week. Um, yeah, I've just really, I really missed my kids so much. I, I don't know. I don't know what was going on with me this week. Um, really homesick really homesick for my kids um, and my husband but my kids sorry Brandon um, yeah but this week was I mean I need to try to get more of these in you know I'm hoping to do like one or two a year where I can go and just like be dedicated to training totally um, but they're hard I don't like being away from my kids at all so I'm excited to go home. Um, but yeah, I have a two hour ride and a run off the bike and then a swim. Um, I have to be out of my Airbnb here too. So um, I gotta get going. So we'll talk to you guys later.